Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to showcase how to install Battlefield 2, the demo, here, on Ubuntu with Play on Linux. Now, this is a requested video, I hope this helps you get it installed. You will need Play on Linux 4.1.8 or newer. In this video, I use 4.2.2, okay? Second part is that you're going to need uh, to go to Tools manage wine versions and then on the left you're going to want to scroll down to wine 1.3.8 okay you won't see it on the left here because I've already installed it mine is on the right right down here now I've tried many different wine versions uh, from the latest up to uh, from the latest downwards to 1.4 and I couldn't get this working so I had to result to 1.3.8 based on wine HQ and this does work buggy but it works so you'll click it on the left you click this arrow button and it will appear on the right once it's finished installing so you can close this and the last piece of the puzzle would be the battlefield 2 demo.exe which I will provide a link for it in the description down below I got it from gamershell.com alright so this link I will provide in the description down below okay do not worry you can simply copy and paste it and download it it's free so anyone can try this but just take note that the multiplayer is no longer online because it uses GameSpy. Alright, let's actually get into installing this. Here's the install button. Install a non-listed program down below on the left. Click next. Select the first one. Install a program in a new virtual drive. Now you can name the drive anything. I'm going to name this BF2 demo. Click next. Uh, tick use another version of wine and tick configure wine because we're going to put wine into windowed mode click next scroll down to wine 1.3.8 and select this okay click next let it install itself now it'll, it'll, it'll say you can't find the uh, gecko you can choose to install or you can choose to cancel it makes no difference takes a couple of seconds there whether it actually installed stuff, I don't know, but it's not really necessary. Okay, here we're going to configure Wine, go to Graphics, tick Emulate a Virtual Desktop, and set this to whatever resolution resolution you want. I'm going to put this to 1600 by 900, a good resolution for installing stuff. Alright, here we're going to browse to the Battlefield 2 demo EXE on the desktop. So click Browse, Desktop. Battlefield 2 demo.exe, double click it, click next. Okay, so here we are, the installer for Battlefield 2. I simply click next. This is a demo, so you only have one map, the Gulf of Oman, which surprisingly it plays almost the same as Battlefield 3 and 4, except for the destruction. Click next, click next, uh, next again, accept, accept, next, install. So this is installing the BF2 stuff. Then in a moment, Game Spy will come up. Now this doesn't matter because you can't play online anyway. The Game Spy servers are dead, at least as far as I can tell. So I click cancel here. Now I install Game Spy anyway, just in case the game looks for it. I'm not sure if it needs it, but I have it installed anyway. So I click next and next. Untick everything here. You, not, you do not want any of these. Untick all of that. Okay? And click finish. Back to the BF2 installation. Accept. Next. It's pretty fast because it's an old and small file. Create desktop shortcuts will allow the BF2 executable to be on the desktop as well. So I'll allow that. Click finish. Yes, I want to restart my computer now. Okay. Uh, click cancel on this. Don't need that. Gecko keeps coming up. Give it a couple of seconds, and then the window will close. Okay. Here is where we make the shortcut. This is important. Without it, you won't be able to run the game. So scroll down to bf2.exe. Everything else, as far as I can tell, is unimportant. Only this is important to run the game. Click Next. Uh, I'm going to name it Battlefield 2 Demo. You can name it anything you want, but this is what I'm naming it right here. Click Next. 
and you're done. You can simply close this window. So now you have the shortcut to run it on the desktop and on the bottom left. Now I'm going to run it for the first time and you'll see that it'll start in an 800 by 600 window which isn't very nice, it's very small. But as you can see it does run. So I'm going to Alt F4 to shut it down and I want to make it larger. So I'm going to click configure here uh, this big button right here, configure okay make sure that Battlefield 2 demo is selected it says that here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it some parameters here down below here if you don't see this arguments thing this means you're using a play on this version that's too old please update to a newer one 4.1.8 or newer so I'm going to set the resolution of this window to um, if I'm not wrong it's the plus sign SZX 1600 plus SZY 900. I could be doing the plus wrong, but we'll see in a moment. No need to hit enter, just leave it as is. Click run. Okay, it looks like I did it correctly. As you can see, the window starts larger. So, what you want to do is plus SZX, the width of the window, plus ZY, the height of the window. Set it to whatever you want. I'm setting it to 1600 by 900. Okay, let's test this for a bit. We've got it installed, we've now we've got it running. As you can notice, I did not need to install anything for DirectX. I did not need to install uh, or change anything in the registry editor. 1HQ says you need to do these things, but from my testing, they do nothing for me. However, if you feel that the game is unable to run on your system or you've got problems, then you can always install uh, Wine through install component. Hey, you can always install DirectX through install components and play on Linux, very easy. But it's not necessary as far as I can tell. So let's get into play single player. Alright, starting it up. So far so good. As you can see the mouse pointer of mine is moving in there. You can hear the sound of the game, it's loading. To my surprise from the testing, because I've never played Battlefield 2 before, the game almost feels like Battlefield 3. The only thing that's missing is that there is no uh, destruction of the environment. Everything else though is pretty amazing, the AI is pretty good too. So I click join game. You will see flickering in the background. I have Select not found a way to fix that. By clicking the buttons on the left side of the screen. Okay, so this is like a tutorial thing. I just double click on assault. I click the on white icons you can this. see on the map are spawn points. Spawn here. Select one with the left done. mouse button and then click there we go. done. I'm to on start the field. Playing. Look at them. AI. Run. They're taking the vehicle. I want this. You can also shoot your teammates. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna grab this tank. F1, as you can see, I am riding it. Oh, he dead! <laughs> he dead, son! What are you running to, sucker? What are you running to? <laughs> You're dead, man! Oh! <laughs> so unlike BF3 and BF4, where if you were to shoot a building, it'd be destroyed, this one there's no damage whatsoever on the buildings. At least in the demo, there's none. I don't know if the actual release of the game has. Okay, enemy vehicle. Destroyed. Enemy tank. Click the right mouse button on spotted. Spot. You can choose Bam. the spotted enemy type from a list. Come on, come on, whoa. Come on, beautiful. He's dead. Oh, look at him fly. <laughs> so this demo is free. You want to try this on your Linux system? Go ahead. I hope this video helps you install it. I'm just going to mess around a little bit more. Let's see if I can capture a point. The single player works, but the multiplayer sadly does not because there are no servers. GameSpy is dead. I tried looking for a server and nope, there's nothing. Oh, you didn't expect that, son. Yo, I threw... Oh, look at that. The physics for the ragged bodies, the the bodies when they're dead is pretty amazing in this game, even though it's old. It's a shame that buildings don't get destroyed, though. I might buy this game when it goes on sale. Oh, sucker, take that. So I'm capturing a point here. Let me get out of the tank. 
Oh Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh whoa 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 whoa. What what do I have? Do I I have a pistol? Ah, yes, grenade launcher, baby. Watch this. Oh did that do damage? I don't know. Oh yep, that did damage. And boom! Shakalaka. Okay, what class am I? <laughs> He's dead! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Don't see me, don't see me! Oh, I'm dead. Pressing the left mouse button. We try an engineer class. Screen, press the right mouse button. Engineer, let's see. Do I have an RPG? Oh, this this works well in wine. Oh, he revived me. That's nice, but not so much because I'm in front of a tank. You freaking douche! <laughs> Alright, so that is it for this video guys. I hope this video helped you to get the game up and running and installed. Uh, as far as I can tell, only single player works. Multiplayer does not seem to be playable. The demo is free, so you're welcome to go ahead and try it. You can reinstall it as many times as you may need. And that is it for this video. I hope it helps you.